Welcome back to Blender Switch Live. Today I'm going to be doing uh, hand scanning using an app called Hegas app. So this app can be used with uh, older iPhone like iPhone 10 or older iPad with Face ID. So any iPhone or iPad with Face ID will work. Um, and I have a few example here. For example, this hand, like a crunch, hand and fingers doing a crunch. You can see the, the result. Uh, it's not the most perfect, it's not like photogrammetry uh, scanning like using Scanifers or Polycam or other app like uh, Trinio Plus but this is more like a instant uh, scanning okay so it's direct scanning using the face ID it's not using the LiDAR the face ID is actually higher resolution and it's easy to do uh, so we can uh, see i'm gonna try very quickly so you can see okay this is my hand right i'm gonna be doing scanning um i will scan it like i will rotate my hand like this while scanning uh, while not doing too much of deforming so let's try doing just this pose and i'm gonna try to maintain the pose And you can see Haggis app can actually capture my fingers and the hands very very quickly and I can stop it right there and then I can go and see the result so we can export the model to PLY with colors or just STL without color and take a look okay so this is the result okay I didn't capture some of the edges but the overall hand was captured pretty well. Okay, so from here, uh, we can share it to an app like uh, Nomad Sculpt. And you can see this is the result inside Nomad. You might need to move the hands a little bit. So using Gizmo, push this down. You can try scaling it or, or rotate it. So let's try. Uh, I don't need to rotate it actually. Let's bring this up. As long it looks correct, the orientations. This object is of course a uh, kind of hollow if you really want to you can use voxel remesh and do like a quick remeshing inside no much sculpt and you're gonna get something that's a little bit more full okay so yeah, it's not bad there's some part that's still looking weird but you, we got our hands right here and then we already reduced the the size and at this point, um, I'm gonna try, just export it as OBJ, save to files. And I will use an app called Cozy Blanket. So I'm just gonna call this my hand scan one, save. I'm gonna clo close all the app gonna use this app this is a new fairly new app used to be costing like hundred thirty dollars now it's around you can start with thirty dollars you can pay another hundred a little bit later but yeah basically you import the hand model the scan your scan and you start uh, drawing uh, some polygon face Okay, so this is a cozy blanket. It's actually a retopo tool, but yeah, it's running on the iPad. It's actually, I think the app itself was made using Godot, Godot engine. So it's pretty cool. And yeah, the way it works is just you draw polygons on top of this 3D mesh that you have. 
So I'm still learning this app. If you are doing a lot of 3D casually, I, I guess you can actually use make use of this cozy blanket. Like the the cheaper version, the one I have, thirty dollar is a really really I think a low cost. And because you can do this uh, while laying in, on the sofa, for example, it's, so it's going to be like a, like I always say, it's like a 3D therapy. So I just relax. I just relax the 3D just now. going to continue drawing this. Um, so the retopo, normally when you do the retopo, that's because you want to reduce the topology and you want to make it so it, it looks good um, if you want to animate the model so that's uh, that's usually the purpose but but in this case I really I really just want to do like a casual 3d modeling I think painting or drawing anything on the 3d surface is very very nice it's like a like really nice therapy um, so you can do like a quick 3D scan and if you ever want to paint anything on the 3D you can do it really fast right just like if you're actually drawing on top of your skin uh, it feels kind of relaxing but if you draw it on real skin then you're gonna get dirty and maybe that's not something you want so you want to do it in you want to do it digital uh, digitally okay of course uh, you can try like <clears throat> do like a finger painting that's that's more like analog and that's probably something that you want to do okay with cozy blanket I believe yeah you can delete that way just by drawing an X so I'm just casually doing this is it doesn't have to be perfect it's just like a kind of like an exercise it's slightly tedious but uh, remember in the past we used to actually do this um, even harder you know like back then we don't have we don't have iPad for example we don't have stylus so we have to do it by uh, by using mouse but nowadays you can simply use the iPad and draw this just follow the curvature of my finger of course there are many other retopo tools out there actually there's one also there's a couple for blender um, I haven't used much of retopo tool However, you can feel free just to search on Twitter. You will find uh, like proper retopo tool. Okay, I will just jump ahead and just go to the, the palm of my hands. Just continue this way. Okay, the topology, I'm just following the muscle of my hands, I guess. It's not perfect but yeah if you pay a little bit more I think for cozy blanket you're gonna get another tools that's allowing you to copy paste a topology so if you have like like a hand models that you want to uh, you can reuse uh, the same topology pattern for for the hands okay okay this one is actually going all the way okay that's cool part is not fully developed it's not fully scanned properly okay, let's undo that one and like this okay this one trying to connect there which is that's okay I guess so that's what I have so far I can 
just export it to files. This is export and save. So it's gonna save it as OBJ again. We go back to Nomad. And let's actually open the one we have. So if you are inside inside Nomad, of course you can you can use like all kind of brush tool with symmetry off and you can start doing like a like a sculpting, right? So this is also kind of like a like a really nice therapy. I like doing this a lot. And you can of course switch to paint and start doing like some painting. You know, like uh, I don't know. You you can you can, for example, okay, uh, maybe uh, if you have like some kind of injury, you often get like a casting of your arms or legs. And you often want to, you often ask your friend, you know, like to write down anything, you know, like a signature. And you can do that. You can do the same thing uh, using Nomad Scalp. Okay, this is doing it on the, on the vertex. So you can have like a, Smiley face. Just write down, you know, get well soon. Okay, things like that. It's kind of cute. And you can use like a metallic color. You're gonna override that thing. We're drawing like some flower. So yeah, a lot, there's a lot you can do. Some just it's just some of the ideas. You can draw the sun or not the sun. This character from Ghibli. So this is just painting it on the vertex and I think it's really fun why why is it fun because it's it's already have the 3d form because you're scanning your own hands or any part of your body and if you're happy you can just export it as GLTF export and send it to the Mac you're gonna open it in blender so let's see file new File import uh, GLB GLTF and downloads my hand scan. It comes as GLB. Okay, this is the arm. We sculpted it a little bit using Nomad. So let's save this very quickly. Remember, uh, we used the app called Heges to scan this. You can use other photogrammetry app. But in this case, I think Hegas doing it really, really well. It's actually quite high details. Um, yeah. And if you want to see the color, it's already come with the material from Nomad. And it's using the color, so it should appear here. There's actually two color because it comes with the metallic and roughness. So I believe this color, red and green. Yeah, I think this is correct. If you want to do further painting, you just switch to vertex paint or actually go to sculpt mode and use the vertex color there. Use the vertex blender. Vertex coloring is a lot simple, simpler. Wait. Okay, it's, is it is it painting it? Okay, we need to select the color. 
right click change the radius pick a color Okay, so that's a uh, vertex painting. You can always blur this. You can switch to the sculpt mode. I think in the in the recent Blender, we actually have another way to paint. There you go, paint inside the sculpt mode. Actually, it's a uh, yeah. The paint tool is more or less the same. We cannot, unlike the Unlike Nomad, we cannot really paint the roughness and metalness at the same time. If you are using Vertex Paint, maybe that will change in the in the near future of Blender. So it's, uh, at least you can do like smear very very quickly because this is a sculpt tool. And what else? Normally, I will do things like cloth, cloth filter, or mess other filter but in this case I just gonna save this here I guess okay so that's a quick look as you know how you can quickly scan things using the iPad so any device iPad iPhone with face ID all the ways to iPhone 10 can actually scan your hands or any part of your body or anything very quickly as long as you use the front face ID and then after you do that, uh, you can you can just bring it to other app like Nomad, and then just just do like a remesh. You can use Cozy Blanket to do to use like a quick retopo. If you do like a quick UV, you can actually export it out to to app like a Procreate. So I haven't shown you that. You might lose all the drawings. But if you really want to, you can just go to UV Unwrap, like a quick UV Auto auto Unwrap using Nomad Sculpt, and just wait a few seconds, hopefully it's doing its job, and then you can send it to Procreate where you can do like a 3D painting as well over there. I recommend you to actually do like a red topo and then uh, but it's it depends on your your iPad <clears throat> so this so this guy have UV now right you can just use OBJ and then export the OBJ into Procreate and wait a few seconds Procreate is gonna import it so now inside Procreate let's close Nomad so we have more memory Okay, I'm using the latest iPad OS 16. With iPod, iPad OS 16, actually give giving this kind of interesting bugs. Like uh, when you're painting, you get this really weird, like blotch, like noise. That's actually, I think that's bugs. But inside, uh, inside Procreate. You can, of course, use all kind of brushes. So Blender doesn't come with all these brushes, but inside Procreate, you are you can do this really, really quickly. So it's really good in a way, like if you are doing like a concept art. So yeah, this is something that you can do very quickly. Scan just some parts of your body, hands, fingers, feet, or your face, and then you, you know, do like a little bit of topology or painting this is very very uh, good like for 3d therapy it's very 3d uh, therapeutic it's very relaxing just do this on the sofa um, so yeah that's uh, just what I want to show you today hopefully you find it useful thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time thank you bye